Hi, I am in the gym right now. I was uh, listening to a podcast uh, how to create a people strategy. It was a 40 to 50 minutes podcast. I thought that I should share a few key takeaways, key points uh, with all of my viewers uh, so that they can uh, benefit from it. I will try to cover in two to three minutes time so that you can just get some ideas and it is how you can implement, you can build your own people strategy. Uh, the key takeaways are first and foremost, you try to understand the business, what is the uh, business of the organization, what organization is doing. Uh, second, uh, you take buy-in from the CEO, from the top management, what they want to do, what is their vision, speak to them, seek their uh, ideas, seek their vision, and uh, take their buy-in. Then you sit down, you take a, a piece of paper, you write down all your ideas in your mind, uh, put those ideas on paper, don't uh, keep them in your mind so that your mind is clear. Don't think that how much time it will take to achieve uh, those uh, uh, goals, those milestones that uh, you would like to get part of the people strategy. Then set the priorities, that what you want to achieve. And for that, I think you need to talk to the functional heads, to the people in the other departments, and to understand that what are the business goals for the next one year. And then see that how you could align your milestones, your people strategy milestones and goals with the business uh, goals, so that you could be able uh, to identify key result areas. And you, with the help of the team, with the help of the functional heads and the management, are able to achieve those milestones, which is how you can get a good impact on the business. How you can measure uh, the uh, impact that has been created by the people strategy, try to keep things which are doable, maybe two uh, uh, pillars, three pillars, four pillars, whatever it is, whether it is training and development, it is recruitment, it is employee engagement, it is talent management. You have to figure out what three goals, what three main pillars you would like to keep, four pillars you would like to keep in your people strategy that you would like to achieve. And then see that where you need the coordination and collaboration of other departments, talk to them, see the resources you need, whether you have the resources, it is human resource, it is financial resource, it is uh, engagement and coordination with the internal or external stakeholders, and then finalize your uh, uh, key areas, key pillars, how you can measure the impact? You have to go for anonymous surveys so that you can understand that what people say about uh, those uh, key policies or pillars that you have implemented. Second, see that what is the absence rate. Uh, people really are regularly absent or they are coming to the office. Is the workplace really positive, productive? Uh, work culture is really good. Third one is uh, you try to uh, create uh, how page on the LinkedIn, seek ideas from your team, try bring them on board so that they can uh, give their ideas on the LinkedIn, they can give their uh, feedback. Similarly, what is the turnover in the organization during the one year? Many people left, uh, they were retained, they were able to really work with the organization, with the company, were they happy with the organization or not? Uh, so these are some of the, uh, the uh, metrics, some of the uh, key performance indicators that would tell you whether your people strategy is really successful or not. So it is how you can build, you can create a people strategy that will be uh, good for the organization and you can keep working on it every year, revise it, review it and include more pillars into your people strategy. So it's a continuous work, you have to involve your team, the top management, employees, stakeholders. Talk to the employees in town hall meetings, in um, uh, focus group discussions. Discuss with them, seek their feedback whether your people strategy is effective or not. So these are some of the ideas about the people strategy. It is the uh, you know essence and nutshell of 40 to 50 minutes of podcast I listened to during my workout in the gym. So I thought that I should share with you. I hope you would like these ideas. If you have any. For the questions you can ask, if you have any feedback, you can give in the comments. And I would like to do more such videos, listening to the experts, reading the experts, and forming my own uh, views and my own opinions and sharing it. Thank you very much. I wish you all the best in your career pursuits and your future endeavors.